Hello everybody. So here I am. I'm just re-recording a video that I recorded or tried to record last night for you guys. And after that, it's while I was filming, AJ fell in a weird way off his bed and scratched his back along the table. It was like this long of a scratch and absolutely lost his mind. He ended up, and he's okay, he's, he's okay, but it did hurt. Um, but he ended up in bed with me. We watched a movie. Um, I was just like, I was going to go finish the video in the living room, but I was getting tired too. So we are back and I'm just going to re-record this update and get this up as soon as possible. So if you're a Patreon supporter, if you're a YouTube subscriber, thank you so very much. It means so much to us that you have been patient, you have been kind, and you have been such wonderful supporters across both platforms. And I love you guys, so thank you. So I had such a busy week. It felt like it went by in the blink of an eye, but each day was particularly long for different reasons. Um, at work, we had to finish up, you know, getting people billed and finishing and closing the month which involves a lot of reports and filing and mailings and a lot of brain power really at the end of the month, it's a lot. And then, as I mentioned before, we're switching over to a new system and we're trying to get that up, which is just entirely complicated and like right now, the software we have designed for our business is not very, very good in terms of accounting. So we do double entry basically, and we put everything into QuickBooks as well. It takes a lot of time. Sometimes there's mistakes. Um, it's hard. It really is. So the, the wonderful thing about the new system that's coming into play is it automatically puts everything in QuickBooks, like automatically. So that's really kind of cool, but um, it's really complicated. And I think a lot of our customers are gonna be unhappy while we're in this transition. Um, a lot of them log into our portal to pay their invoices or look at other things, you know, in line with our business that's in their portal. And um, I just think switching over is just, if it wasn't for QuickBooks, I would think it was the stupidest thing ever. And, you know, I don't get to make those decisions. I know that the cost has a lot to do with it. And, you know, cheap comes out expensive sometimes. So we'll see how all this shakes out. But I was incredibly tired pretty much every day of the week, last week. And I was trying to do so much at work and stay so focused. I did um, do a really good job at that, stay productive. I also, you know, I've been keeping my ears open and um, it's hard. It's not the easiest thing. Um, I don't want to talk too publicly, but I'm keeping my ears open. We'll see where that takes us in time. But, you know, I love my boss and I think he's very smart. I just, I don't know, I just find it um, complicated. So you guys know a lot of the, the story to my job and things going on, um, especially if you're a Patreon supporter, but it's a job and I need it. And so AJ needs it. So I'm not just being stupid and just like rushing out um, of a job that gives me stability and an income still feel like it's a few dollars short than what it should be um but that's okay we will manage with what we have um i also had a family member overdose over the weekend they're okay um but it's scary for everybody in the family um aj lost a tooth last week that was really interesting i think that happened on thursday night we had homework every night this week. And, you know, I wish I had a job where I could be home as soon as he got out of school. 
that's really what I want to try to aim for. Um, I just feel like once I get home from work, it's like a race to get everything done and getting fed and get his homework done and get him in the bath and or shower and um, do some extra reading and get him in bed. It's like we have very little time and I wish we had more. Um, I'm trying to think. And last week, you know, now I haven't put up a health update for a couple of reasons. I am still dealing with quite a few different things going on, but I didn't really want to stay on the medications that the doctor gave me. If I showed you the bag of medications, it's like this freaking big. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. I was on epilepsy medicine. I was on um, cholesterol medicine, some different vitamins. Um, I'm trying to think of everything I was on. I can't even remember it. Tons of bladder stuff. And I got tired of taking those pills and I stopped. But I've been going through, and so I didn't really want to make a video about, hey, I just freaking stopped. But, um, I dealt with a lot last week in terms of pain. Like, I have a lot of random pain. Shoulders, hips, knees, it seems like a lot of joint pain. Um, I feel like a lot of that could be <sighs> gaining weight and having too much on my frame. And I'm, you know, putting my joints through too much. I feel like it's the serious car accident in 2000 that is creeping up on me. I also feel like obviously ages. I am clearly not in shape. Um, I don't eat the healthiest. But many nights when I went to bed last week, there was just like random hot spots still dealing with the remnants basically of a pinched nerve it hurts a lot i still have a lot of burning um and so i'm kind of in a quest to and i don't have one yes i do hold on i'm kind of in a quest to get a little bit healthier and i know in one of my videos you guys couldn't hear me because of the music and that's going to be something i fix and then I don't know why the sound was messed up on the iPad when I recorded a vlog where I actually was talking about vapes and what differences they've made in my life. So, <coughs> I am probably, <coughs> excuse me, I am probably three, maybe four weeks without smoking a cigarette. And I've just been smoking the Mr. Fogs. And... There's no um, smoke, number one, and there's no tar, and just that alone is better for you. I've got, I've read so many studies. These, when you blow out that smoke, is water vapor, so there's not been ashes in the house. There's not been um, smoke in the house. It's totally changed the game for me. And so, that was the first step of getting healthy. And I said in that video, I'll say it real quick again, that it's the same way for pot. I don't really just smoke pot and have smell and all of that. It's the the e-cigarettes. And while they're not the healthiest, and nicotine still is not great for you, I feel like it's a small, it's a big transition um, that I need to be making. So... One of the things that I did was buy the DB Method machine. It's like a squat machine, but but really, it is a full body workout. Actually, Laura got this for me because, like, I was complaining about what I don't like about my body, which is basically stomach, hips, and my butt. And she was like, she has one. She's like, you got to do it. Ten minutes a day, do it. I do do it. I crackle and pop the entire time I'm going up and down. Look, my hands just look so... The lighting's crazy in here. Um, it looks so dark. Um, I do have some of the, sh the shades closed at the top, so that's probably it. Um, so, 
I've been using my treadmill. I've been using the DB method. And this weekend, I also put some um, stretching into my routine. So I felt really bad last week. I'm still trying to do my very best to um, be productive and be proactive. Like, I can't sit around and say this hurts and that hurts and just not do anything. I actually ordered a supplement that Shay Whitney um, on YouTube um, recommended. And I'm really anxious to try it. And it should be here by Thursday. So, I am um, going to see if that works. And I'll let you know if it does. And I feel like, I just feel like I have a lot of inflammation. Uh, some arthritis. Some, obviously, weight issues. And, you know, when I was on all of that medication, I think it was the epilepsy medicine that made, like, Mountain Dew taste bad to me. And I just stuck to sweet tea. I was losing some weight. But <laughs> then I came off that medication, and I love Mountain Dew like no other. I don't understand why my body loves it so much. It's freaking terrible for me. And just not a good idea. But I've been drinking a little bit more of that, which is awful. But I'm starting to incorporate a little bit more water. I'm going to keep doing that. Trying to find ways that I like water. And it just seems to be impossible. Um, everything's been going fine with Ryan. He has been in and out. Um, you know, with AJ and stuff. And... He took AJ to a birthday party yesterday, which AJ enjoyed a lot, and he's been pretty, pretty mellow. Um, the parakeets, I don't know if you can hear them, but they are doing so good. I'll try to make a video soon. I'm probably going to try to vlog today, but I have some other videos that I'm working on. I'm trying to get some footage done of some planners that were sent to me. I know I used Notion. And I know that video will be up probably within the next 30 days. It's so detailed, it's going to be crazy. But that's my main thing that I use. But I did agree to do a review for for some books that I wanted to, to incorporate. So I'm going to be showing you some of those really soon. I've got to finish my month in review. It just seems like AJ gets a lot of my time and my time is so limited. Yesterday, which was Saturday, I spent the day cleaning my house and decluttering because it's easy for me just to stack stuff up. And I had that desk in the corner out there in the living room. That just drove me absolutely insane. I put the desk back in here. I have the art stuff kind of in the floor. And the birds in the corner out in the living room where the desk was. So that's a lot better. And yesterday, I basically cleared everything off the kitchen counters and only left a couple things. I took 99.9% .9 of stuff and got rid of it. So, or at least found better home areas for it. So, today, I do need to try to mop AJ's room. He's got a couple of sticky spots. Um, he also lost that front tooth that we've been waiting forever for him to lose. He lost that Thursday night. Um, it's been a pretty quiet weekend besides AJ going, um, to that party yesterday. I'm going to put an order in for groceries today and hopefully I'll be able to record that for you guys. What else? It's just been so incredibly busy. I think Laura was here three or four of the nights just hanging out and God knows I love her have another friend that seems to be going through some shit, but she is doing a little bit better. And Romeo is doing fine, but he just keeps me owing incessantly, trying to get outside. I'm about just to put the tracker on him in case he does get outside. He's AJ's just out there hooting and hollering. He's he's just having some fun, I guess. But um, I know I missed some posts on Patreon this week. But I just had so much on my mind. My my lunch was consumed with with stuff that necessarily wasn't lunch. And um, I just didn't have that much time last week. And I wanted to get on here. I wanted to say hello and tell you that everything's fine. I'm just, you know, being my normal self. Trying to 
chase my tail around due to the time. We lost our hour, so that's not fun. And I got up this morning, AJ was up in probably the six o'clock hour and went out and played on the tablet. He ate some breakfast and um, we've just pretty much been hanging around the house. I've been watching Netflix. I definitely need to get motivated, but no, no popsicle yet. And I told him I was coming back here to film a video. I said, can you give mommy just a couple minutes? So he's been really good while I've been filming. And hopefully I didn't forget anything that I put in last night. I think I was a little more detailed about some of the stuff going on at my job. But, you know, I am comfortable with what I'm doing. And it's just some of the pettiness, I think. And the older you get, what I've realized is the less of that shit you want to deal with. Like, really. Um, I still haven't received my taxes. But that's okay. I'm still doing okay. I'm still making it. And I'll be very honest. I did, like, get a lot of money from Ryan over the past month. But it is what it is. We needed it. He can help buy some groceries for his kid. Or some clothes. Or um, help me out. Whatever. Um... But I do appreciate that. And he's, you know, got his house a few blocks away. And hopefully we can maintain a nice friendship and co-parenting relationship. It's still, like, really touchy. I don't really have hardly any answers about any of that. Except we're just going to do the best we can. The older kids are doing fine. I miss them. They have their own lives. And while I try to get them over here, it is sometimes hard. And um, I feel like I miss them. That's, that's pretty much it. But I hope you guys have been doing okay. Thank you so much for sticking around, especially when I blow the schedule. But I want to quit yammering on so I can get a few other things filmed for you guys. Get some stuff done around my house and go on with this day. It's really quite sunny out, but it's really quite cold. It's not even 50 degrees. And, um, um, oh, by the way, Kenzie's, I have a birthday this month. Kenzie's got a baby shower that same day. I don't think I'm going to make it, but we have all that going on as well. Brittany's boyfriend, Nemish, graduated college early or got his bachelor's early. He hasn't, gra I mean, he has graduated, but he's still in for his master's. So that's phenomenal and amazing. Brittany's in her last year for um, her, de her degree and her diploma is what I was going to say. And it just seems like maybe what should be a calm time in life is definitely anything but so i will see you guys very soon let me know how you're doing in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again as soon as i can bye